wolf. I am relieved to see that you are safe. And Al? I killed him. I am sorry. Lord Kuro. I am sorry. I did what had to be done. Wolf, thank you. My father, this was in his possession. <gasps> this branch. It's from the Everblossom tree? I see. So Al had it. Yes. We are a step closer to the Fountainhead Incense. Yes. Yes. That's right, Wolf. I must remain vigilant. Wolf, I've made progress. I'm sure this is the last ingredient for the aroma. What is it? The blood of the divine heir of the dragon's heritage. In other words, my blood. Your blood? But my lord, you cannot bleed. Yes, it is true that those of the dragon's heritage cannot bleed. However, in Lord Genichiro's quarters, I found a curious journal belonging to Lord Takeru's page. And it appears there is a way for me to bleed. For now, I'd like to ask you to keep this for me. Now then, we just need to figure out how to make me bleed. Perhaps we should ask Lady Emma. Hmm. As a doctor, she should have much knowledge of the human body. Yes, she may be able to help us. My lord, I've procured the flower for the Fountainhead Aroma. Oh? Was it truly blooming in the Sunken Valley? Yes. Deep within the valley. So that is where the Fountainhead waters pool deeply. You've done well to acquire this wolf. I must remain vigilant. Wolf, all that's left is to find a way to make me bleed. Perhaps Lady Emma will know of a way to make me bleed. Might you ask her? Well, her might... never fails. Lord Ishin disappears the moment I take my eyes off of him. He's quite a handful. Goodbye. By the way, Sekiro, it sounds like your battle to sever immortality with Kuro is near a conclusion. You killed all those who interfered. I did. I see. You did well to kill without hesitation. It never is. Goodbye.
There is something I'd like to ask. Yes, what is it? Can the divine air be made to bleed? Why would you seek to do so? The blood of the divine air is required to obtain the dragon tears from the divine realm and achieve immortal severance. Oh, I see. It is true that the divine air's blood cannot be shed by normal means. However, you currently possess the means to do so. The mortal blade. Yes, here you are. <laughs> This was written by Lord Takeru? It was. With the mortal blade, you may wound the divine heir, and his blood will be allowed to flow. I see. This brings us one step closer to immortal severance. I shall tell my lord. Of course. As I told you before, the mortal blade should be able to wound the divine heir, and allow his blood to be shed. Yes, I shall tell my lord. Of course. Here. Oh, this is... <laughs> this is... Monkey Booze. Something wrong? Well, let me try it. Oh, it... it burns so bad. Let's see. Yes, monkeys. I seem to have a strong connection with monkeys. You do? Yes. I was rescued by a monkey, after all. <sighs> you don't believe me, do you? When I was young, I stood alone in the aftermath of a battlefield. I was alone and staring, dumbfounded. <sighs> I could do nothing, neither cry nor even get angry. Complete shock. And then there was a monkey, eating a rice ball. A monkey? Maybe an ape? Maybe. Either way, he made it look so delicious. I remember being angry at that, but then... Then he gave me the rice ball. It tasted so good. What a kind monkey. <laughs> yes. He was a very kind monkey. Here, for you. Oh my, if this isn't Lord Ishin's favorite sake, I'll have some. <sighs> Delicious. Hmm? Say something. There is something I'd like to ask you. Of course. Who trained you to fight with a blade? A blade? I am a doctor. Yes, but who? Uh, Lordy. E. <sighs> but I only have a passing interest. I do not believe your skill counts as a mere passing interest. Why did you learn? Well, not to kill people. What do you mean? No. I don't have the slightest desire to kill anyone. It's just... I would want to kill a demon, if one were to appear. A demon? <laughs> Don't take me seriously. It was only a joke. Goodbye. As I told you before, the- Yes, I shall- Of course. Goodbye. Wolf, did you speak with Lady Emma? I did. And? What did she say? That it could be possible with the mortal blade. I see. So the mortal blade will allow my blood to flow. As you wish. This should be all of the necessary ingredients for the aroma. Wolf, burn the incense. As you wish. Wolf, we've finally done it. Once we make the fountainhead incense, you can infuse your clothes with the aroma. Now, place all of the ingredients in the incense burner. 
As you wish. My lord. Wolf, the mortal blade. <clears throat> Fear not. I will only make a shallow cut. Would you draw the mortal blade from its sheath? Yes, my lord. Forgive me, but close your eyes. Yes, my lord. Ugh. It's over now, Wolf. How is the wound? I'm fine. I just made a small cut on my chest. Mm. So this is the fountainhead incense. It's so extraordinarily nostalgic. I see. Well, do you notice anything different? The aroma and fountainhead palace. Those words have been burned into my mind. Fountainhead palace. It's just as Lord Takeru wrote. That place must lead to the Divine Realm. But how can the Fountainhead Palace be reached? A sweetly scented bridal offering. That was written on the altar where the fragrant stone was placed. Yes. You now carry the aroma of the Fountainhead Incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you if you go to the shrine within the cave. Immortality shall soon be severed. I'm counting on you, Wolf. As you wish. Wolf, I need you to bring Dragon Tears from the Divine Realm. Yes. You must first go to the depths of the cave where you found the Fragrant Stone. You now carry the scent of the Fountainhead Incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you, if you enter the shrine within the cave. As you wish. Wolf, I need you to bring Dragon Tears from the Divine Realm. Yes. You must first go to the depths of the cave where you found the Fragrant Stone. You now carry the scent of the Fountainhead Incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you, if you enter the shrine within the cave. As you wish. <laughs> 